So, good afternoon. My name is Ryan Yell, and I am a junior in the Physician Assistant Program. So I would love to go to that hospital in uh, Nashville. So I'll talk to you later about that. Um, but before I begin, I would just like to say that it is an unbelievable honor to be able to talk in front of you. Um, in some way, shape, or form, every one of you is working to make a positive impact in the lives of those around you. So to be able to thank you in person is truly a privilege. When I was asked to speak at this event, the first thing that came to mind was the word impact. The reason that we're all here is to celebrate the impact that you have been able to have here at Springfield College. So I think the best way to do that would be for me to tell a little bit of my story to let you know what your impact has enabled me to do. So last weekend, I was neck deep in reviewing applications for the 2018 Leadership Training Conference, also known as LTC. Along with seven other Springfield College students, including my sister Haley, who's a senior in the Occupational Therapy Program, I had the pleasure and responsibility of reviewing nearly 120 applications from students of all grade levels looking to be a part of this amazing experience. For those of you who do not know, LTC is a weekend-long student-run leadership retreat in which students engage in activities and workshops that encourage them to look internally and embrace who they are at the core. For myself and the board, it is a chance to make a real difference in the lives of some truly remarkable people. And to have that opportunity is incredibly humbling, and it's something that I'm grateful for every day. One of the beautiful things about the application process is that all applications are anonymous. The board has no idea who's applying until after we've accepted applications. Because of this, many students are very open and honest when they apply. We ask them questions such as, what does courage look like? Or, if you could describe your life from the past year as a punctuation mark, what would it be? And as you can imagine, the answers are all very unique. And despite all of this uniqueness and the difference in answers, I couldn't help but notice one similarity. On almost every single application, by every student in some way, they mention that Springfield College has been a place where they have been able to find themselves as a person and to develop into stronger leaders and find their passions. And after spending the whole weekend reading these accounts of self-discovery, my heavily sleep-deprived and overworked brain was left wondering, how is it possible that an academic institution can have such a profound impact on its students? And then it hit me. And I think that the answer itself is actually quite simple. It's because Springfield College is much more than simply an academic institution. It's home. It's the place where I have to run down the sidewalks to avoid being hit by the acorns that the squirrels throw from up in the trees. It's the place where Wednesday night bingo brings out a competitive spirit that I did not know I possessed. And it's the place where cutting across the grass in order to make it somewhere on time is actually less acceptable than just arriving a couple seconds later. Springfield College is also the place where I found my passion and realized what I want to do with my life. I now know that I want to be a physician assistant, but also find a way to develop a program here in Springfield to introduce the youth to the medical field. Springfield College, even more than that, has allowed me to embrace who I am at the very core to live unapologetically as myself every day, and to lead a life of purpose and in service to others. If it weren't for this school, I would most certainly not be the man that I am today. And if it weren't for your generosity, this college would not be what it is today. Had it not been for you, so many remarkable students would not be calling this place home. Students like me, who didn't realize their potential until they connected it with their passions here. The scope of the impact that you are having on the lives of people that you may never know is truly awe-inspiring, and it's really a remarkable thing. Something that I have always believed in is the idea that no matter where you go or what you do, when you leave something, you leave it better than when you found it. And I can assure you from firsthand experience that what you're doing here is exactly that. So on behalf of myself and countless other students, thank you for your generosity. Thank you for believing in me and many, many other students. And above all, thank you so much for leaving Springfield College and its students better than you found them. Please enjoy the rest of the celebration.
And as cool as it was before to say I was a, a Springfield College student, it was always the alumni that seemed to be living the time of their lives. <laughs> Homecoming or reunion would come around, my group of girlfriends and I would look around and we'd say, we want to be those ladies when we grow up. <laughs> They're so full of life and energy and sometimes very stylish. And here I am, not as quite full of life or energy and definitely not as stylish, but I figured that just comes with maturity. <laughs> As a young alum, I would like to tell you a little bit about myself and how I came to be a member of our pride. My senior year of high school, I was completely lost about where I wanted to go. I had an idea of what I wanted to do, but no sense of direction where. Luckily for me, there were three Springfield College alumni guidance counselors at my school. Three. One Springfield alum had no problem taking me under his wing when, once he heard about my troubles. As application deadlines rolled around, I filled out the application for Springfield College. In addition, I filled out the application for the Jesse Park Scholarship. For those of you unfamiliar with this scholarship, one high school senior from Springfield, Massachusetts is honored with their tuition fully paid, so I was very fortunate. This guidance counselor then hand delivered my application to Springfield College's undergraduate admissions office, and here I am five years later. I majored in sports biology with a double minor in chemistry and Spanish. After graduation, with the suggestion of an incredible mentor of mine, I decided to give Springfield College another year of my life. President Cooper also helped uh, convince me to stay another year, so. <laughs> I'm now a full-time campus compact of Southern New England AmeriCorps VISTA. So what do I do? I work in the Center for Service and Leadership, providing students with the opportunity to volunteer in our surrounding community and create lasting impacts on, with our neighbors. Springfield College and Springfield, Massachusetts are not two separate entities. You cannot love one without loving the other. After a gap year or two, I'll be heading back to grad school to pursue my interest in healthcare. Last spring, I was incredibly fortunate to be a part of the alternative spring break trip to Haiti. This opportunity changed my life. Haiti and its people, specifically the members of the YMCA and the orphanage we work with, showed me that I find true, unfathomable happiness in helping others in need, a happiness that does not come at any cost. Direct service isn't just an incredible opportunity, but it's a lifestyle for me. So my goals are to combine my love for medicine with my desire to continue humanitarian. Springfield College is the best accident that has ever happened to me. Accident because I didn't intentionally choose this college for my higher education, even though it's sitting right in my backyard. But the universe worked in its mysterious ways, and so did the Springfield College alum at my school. And I'm very blessed. Things really do work out the way they're meant to. Because of Springfield College, I know that genuine kindness is every individual's right. Human connection is the foundation of happiness, and I know that I, like many of you, I'm going to do something significant with my life and leave a positive impact on our world. Last year, I was very fortunate to be awarded with the Class of 1963 award. This is a monetary award that a student earns if they have had to work significantly, significantly throughout college to financially support their studies. This is an, an award that I was far from expecting, but gifts like this help make a difference to students. Although I was graduating, that award will help me pay for my graduate studies in the next few years. A gift like this, I will eventually pay forward to the next generation of our pride. So I would just like to say, thank you for the significant impact you've made on our campus and on our students, for the continuous dedication, support, and generosity. It is a great honor and privilege to share this weekend with you with a family that continues to share Springfield's passion. May, may the Springfield College pride always run deep through your veins. Thank you.